Good morning. Welcome to Wolf Bray Custom Hatters. My name is Robert. I'm the brand owner and the hat maker here. We're going to do a video of the complete hat making process. At the end, you will have the instruction needed so that you can apply your skill to make your own fedora. I bought my first fedora when I was 12 years old. I remember it was a black Frank Sinatra inspired stingy brim. I remember paying $10 for it, which at the time was a princely sum because I was making a dollar an hour with my uh, first job. So it took me a day and a half to buy it. About 25 years ago, I became serious in my collecting of hats. And so in those 25 years, I've collected pretty close to 90 hats. I have one of just about every style, certainly at least one of every color and shade. But I've reached a point a few years ago of what I call maximum saturation. And it didn't make any sense for me to buy any more hats. I had enough. It was confusing enough as it was. But I hadn't lost my passion for hats. So where do I go from here? My wife suggested me to me, why don't you look into the making of hats? The thought had occurred to me, but the hill always seemed too steep. Um, where do I go to get the knowledge? Uh, accumulating the tools is expensive, and it just seems so daunting. But really with no, no choice and not willing to abandon my love of hats, I began, and I began where a lot of hatters start, and that is buying beater Western hats. Uh, they could be had for cheap on eBay, and I would de de deconstruct them, reverse engineering them, as you would, um, trying to discover how do you make a hat? How do you put the components together? I did that a, a few times, gained some knowledge and some confidence, and I purchased some a, a, a little bit of equipment and began to make hats first for family, then for friends, then for acquaintances, until I was confident enough to hang out my shingle and declare myself to be a hatter. And then from there, I began to accumulate equipment, which is um, a never-ending pursuit. It's a very deep rabbit hole to enter into. I was lucky enough a few years ago to make contact with a retired hatter, Art Fawcett. He owned a shop and a custom hattery in Southern Oregon. He had retired, and he was willing to spend some time with me to help me refine my craft. That was such a godsend because I had reached a point where I felt competent as a hatter, but there was the questions of, am I doing it right? After all, I had pretty much uh, come to this place on my own, and while it worked, while it produced a hat, I wondered, is this the right way? Is this the best way? So Art showed me some ways of doing it that were less difficult, less vexing, and in the end, more effective. So my intention here with shooting this video is to give hat makers that want to get into the crafting of hats a one-stop, comprehensive source of information. Welcome, and let's go make a hat.